You wanted the best, but you got the best. The hottest band in the world. Black Sabbath. Smack a gob, everybody. It's Black Sabbath Sunday. And Ronald Cavalieri donated for me to do this track by track, which is Ozzy with Ultimate Sin versus Judas Priest with Turbo. And, um, yeah, I'm not a fan of these albums. You know, this is when I switched gears and went more into the thrash and the underground when all my heroes were releasing these type of albums, man. It was not what I loved about Ozzy and Judas Priest, these albums. Like a few tunes, but, you know, overall, no, thank you. So, let's get this started, all right? Um, you know, this could be a suck versus suck. I, 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 it's barely a suck versus suck. Well, no, not really. Turbo's, Turbo's worse, man. As bad as Ultimate Sin is, I'll say Turbo is worse. All right. We start with the ultimate sin versus Turbo Lover. I'm going to go with Turbo Lover. <laughs> you know, it was like maybe, I know, I don't know, 10 years ago or so, we did a review on it on the Rock and Metal Combat podcast, and I never listened to Turbo. I mean, I, I never listened. Yeah, and I put it on, listened to it to take notes, and I was like, man, Turbo Lover is pretty cool. And, like, my favorite part of Turbo Lover is the part that's not in the music video. So that's why, you know, it's like I never played the album and I've seen the video. So I never liked Turbo Lover, but that section before the guitar solo, to me, is very 70s priest sounding, believe it or not. I see I, that little section to me reminds me of Sin After Sin, you know, the intro to, you know, calling the priest type vibe. I love it. So I'm giving it to Turbo Lover. All right, next, Secret Loser versus Locked In. Secret Loser is one of the two songs I really like off this album. Locked In, no thank you. I don't like it at all. Good solo, but that doesn't make a song for me. All right, next is Never Know Why versus Private Property. Both really crappy, but man, never, uh, what is it, uh, Never Know Why? I gotta say, it's a little less, no, it's a lot less crappier than Private Property. Private Property's fucking terrible. That you never know why, yeah, I'm giving it to that. Easily. Actually, easily, yeah. <laughs> we rock, rock, rock. This album's like, I don't know, man. Metal for dummies. I'm sorry if you like the album. I don't know. To me, it sounds like like if Sesame Street wrote a metal album. That's what this sounds like to me. But hey, it wins over private property. All right, next. Thank God for the Bomb versus Parental Guidance. Both terrible, but I don't think Judas Priest has ever wrote a worse song than Parental Guidance. It has to be one of the worst songs I ever heard in my life. And it's Judas Priest, this band I worship. And thank God for the bombs, terrible. I hate that chord. Thank God for the bomb. Nukia, nukia. I mean, but it's got a cool riff. It's like, ah, it's just ruined. I can hear, it could have been a good song, but I can't hear Parental Guidance ever being a good song. So, yeah, I'm giving that to Ozzy. All right, next. Never versus Rock You All Around the World. Never. Easily. Rock you around the world. Again, man, like Romper Room Rock. It's terrible. Not that never is, uh, you know, that great. All right, next. Lightning Strikes versus Out in the Cold. Easily. Out in the Cold. I love that song. See, that's the song I, I... It's the best song on the album. Hands down. Where... Lightning Strikes, come on, man. It's just... Rocking all night. Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it. And I was listening to it today. I'm like, God, no wonder I ran away from this album. Alright, next. Killer of Giants versus Wild Nights, Hot and Crazy Days. I'm going Killer of Giants. It's a, it's, that one's okay. It's not bad. Uh, unlike Wild Night and Hot Crazy Days, that is bad. Alright, next. 
Fool for Like You uh, versus Hot for Love. All right. I'm going with Hot for Love. I know. I'm very well aware. It's a terrible song. It's horrible. It is bad. But I don't know, man. It's one of those songs that it's so bad it's good. That's how I look at it. Like when I was doing the review like 10 years ago and this song came on, I'm like, God, I actually like this stupid ass song. I do. I like it. It's horrible, but I like it. I do recognize I like a shitty song. Uh, better than Fool for You. Fool like you, whatever it's called. All right, now we end it with Shot in the Dark versus Reckless. Easily Shot in the Dark. Shot in the Dark, I love that song. I remember the first time I saw the video before the album came out, I was like, this is great. I love it. It was different. It's commercial and everything, but man, I really like that song. Hands down, the best song on this album, uh, Shot in the Dark. So there you go, Ronald. This here is the final score. Yep, Ultimate Sin 1. Yeah, well, I mean, it is turbo after all. That ain't saying much. But I want to thank you, Ronald, for the donation. I hope you enjoyed your Black Sabbath Sunday track-by-track -track album battle. And by the way, thank you for saving Black Sabbath Sunday. And everybody out there still hearing my voice, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and ring that little notification bell. And leave the comments below. What do you like, uh, Ultimate Sin or Turbo? Let, let me know. I really would appreciate it. And uh, oh, uh, like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty, listen to Black Sabbath, and smack them a gob.